I'm Vince Rigoli. I'm an owner of uh, v and &E Rigoli Performance Racing, and today we're going to do some oil testing. That's my drag car. That's, uh, it runs a Fiat engine. It's uh, one of the fastest four cylinders in the country, and it's run um, 8 zero, uh, seconds. That's a, a Toyota Hilux, which is, um, is, runs a 2JZ engine, Toyota, and uh, it's running the 8-second barrier too, so it's a pretty, pretty fast car. We do bolt-on kits, we do turbo kits, we do intercooling, we do European, uh, Japanese, uh, we do the Ford and Holden too, like uh, Australian make cars and um, yeah, we do not only performance but we do like um, your everyday driven car, you know, like your family cars and service. Customers often ask me if oil makes a difference on the performance of the vehicles. So that's what we're actually going to do today. We're going to put them to the test. This is the leading performance oil that we are going to test today. We got um, US made oils, European and also Australian made oils. The oil test we're going to do today is going to be on these two performance vehicles, which uh, this is a Mitsubishi Evolution Lancer EVO 6, which is a four cylinder turbo charge. And that's a GTS HSV 6.2 litre, naturally aspirated. To find out which oil gets the most performance out of these two vehicles today, we're going to use a Dyno Dynamics Dyno, which we're going to put on shootout mode, which will provide consistency. To keep the test fair, we're going to flush the engine oil on each vehicle twice. Every bottle we are using are freshly opened. That's the first test we did on the Evo with the Mobile One oil. That's the results we got. It's uh, 169.4 kilowatts at the four wheels. In between each dyno run, we flushed the engine twice with the new oil and changed the oil filter. That was the Castrol Edge test. So it got um, 174 exactly on the dot. That was a test with the Moto Oil 300V. It got uh, 174.7 kilowatts at the four wheels.
was the Royal Purple Test, which is uh, got uh, 174 exactly on the dot at the uh, kilowatts at the four wheels. So uh, it's uh, thing is pretty much the same as the Castro Edge. That was the Newland test, which you got um, 180 kilowatts on the dot at the four wheels, which it, that made a bit of an improvement. And um, yeah, that's um, pretty happy with that one. As you can see, we just finished the dyno testing on the Evolution Lancer, the turbocharge. And uh, that's the results we got. Um, Newlon came um, on top with the outstanding uh, difference. Uh, it was um, six kilowatts difference from the nearest competitor. And um, it was uh, 11 kilowatts to the lowest competitor. To get six kilowatts gain, it's huge.